Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, well, we built a custom water-cooled PC on the cheap, like $2,000 or less. So that's pretty low for a custom water-cooled PC, if you ask me. Anyway, if you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I'll put a link up in the upper right-hand corner so you can do so. Let me hop into the email. Let's see what we got to work on today. We've still got this one, even though it looks like I'm five stars up here. I think it's just a hair off. Let's open up the Bongo app. Yeah, there's like just a little smidge. This still has five days, so we'll see if we keep getting five-star reviews. We may be able to do this one. If not, you know, it's not a big deal. We'll either let it cancel out or reject it. Let's take a look at this one. This one has a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of blanked out expletives, it looks like. It says, who the blank do you think you blank are? You can't just change my blank PC without my blank permission. I know it was you, D blank. I saw the receipt on the kitchen table. Okay, my mom put you up to this. Do you know her? What the blank is going on between you? Is there something I should know about? Okay, I want you to put it back as it was. If you remember, it was deep red and it had some rad stickers on it. Sort it, will ya? D-Y-L. So, this has been quite a few episodes ago, but we repainted, I think, a PC from red to black and covered over all the stickers and everything else for someone while their son was out of town or something. Apparently, the son is not very happy about it. So they want us to paint the case back to red and uh, apply some warning sign stickers. I think we can do that. Yeah. Yep, let's go ahead and accept that one. Then, we've got an overclocking job says, What's up? I heard you can overclock PCs. Can you have a look at mine? I need a fancy custom water loop hooked up to my RAM, please. Can you adjust my RAM timings by minus three? Can you do it by 12 2022? It's not as quick as it used to be, and I get a lot of strange pop-ups. Can you sort that? That monochrome polka theme looks cool. I'd love it if you could apply that. I don't know what the monochrome polka theme is, but <laughs> we'll figure that out. Sounds like they need a virus scan run, and they want their RAM water cooled. Let's take a look at their stats here. Looks like they've already got some water cooling. We can probably just add this into their existing water loop. I mean, they've only got a parts budget of $140, so it's not like we're building a full water loop out of this. Two sticks of RAM. Let's take a look here. Let me go into the custom water cooling shop. Uh, RAM heat sinks. I think we probably need two of these, so there's $40 and a $90 block. Okay, okay. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and accept it. Hopefully, hopefully I can make it work. Let me get this block. And then let me get... Do I need two of these? I may need two of these. Uh, let me go to the checkout. This. Let's do two of those. So that's $40. So yeah, $130. Bucks. That should be... Right in their $140 budget. So, I don't think we need anything else, hopefully. Hopefully we don't, I guess. <laughs> guess I'll find out when it comes in. Let me go ahead and buy this stuff now. And this is on its way. This is on its way. I'm going to go into the day, and we can get this stuff in. And see if I can remember how to, how to overclock and water cool RAM. It'll be exciting. Be exciting. Hopefully I don't mess it up and have to buy them new RAM or something. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn the lights off. Dang it all. Dang it all. Okay, so here's our water cooling stuff. And let's do this one first. Paint the case red and put warning sign stickers on it. So, yeah, we painted it black. So let's do it in red nozzle size there we go apply on glass so red it is oh yeah we put like heart stickers or something on here too <laughs> uh or a heart sticker like on the front okay and then we need to apply stickers so, warning signs. Here we go. So, he didn't say what color. Um, blue, I don't want. Let's do white. We'll do a nice... A nice... Uh, is this biohazard? 
Do a nice biohazard on the front. There we go. And then we can do one of these electricity symbols. Let's see what else we got. I don't even know what that means. Let's do a bigger one of those. Okay, we got two more. I know that's radiation. Let's do that on this side. Let's make it huge. And we'll do Jolly, oops, Jolly Roger. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Was there anything else we needed to do to that one? I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so I'm going to go put this one out in the hall. And then, or the back room, or whatever this area is, the delivery area. I'll put it in the delivery area. And we've got this one to water cool the ram. So, let's see. How the heck uh, do we water cool ram? I did it in a tutorial, and... Uh, I may have to pull the motherboard out. I really don't remember. So, we're doing two sticks. Okay. So, we take that off. Perfect. Remove all these old thermal pads. I think I only did this once. Then we need to put new thermal pads on. Okay. Then we need to put those back. Okay, is that it? Is that all we do? We just put it back in our inventory now? So the RAM has been water cooled and add to your inventory for installing exit the workbench. So can we just go stick this in the computer or do we have to remove the motherboard first? Let's see. Install. Is it here or is it over here? Here we go. Okay, so we can just pop it in. Then we should be able to drain their loop here. And we can just tie this in with the rest of the loop. Okay, so they've got some sort of red coolant. And then what is that? Yellow tubing with red fittings? All right, let's see if we can... Oh, I bet I don't have this piping. I bet I don't. I've got rigid. I didn't order any of the color tubing. Um, <laughs> of course, of course, uh, let's see, pipes, should I just buy everything, I mean, we're looking at $20 a pop, is there anything else, what about connectors, are there any connectors I don't own, okay, I own all the connectors, this is going to get me all the piping, Uh, I want same-day delivery. Thank you very much. That should be here. Okay. Now I have all the tubing. Flexible and rigid. So, let's see. Piping. So, that looks like yellow. And then the fittings look like these EK red fittings. Let's go out of here and into the top of that. And then we can come out of the bottom and back into their reservoir. Okay, so that's right. Now, coolant. It's some sort of red. 
I'm not sure which red coolant it was. Don't think it was that one or that one. That might be it. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Now we need to adjust their cast latency by minus three. Minus three. So let me power this thing on. Need to make sure it boots anyway. I'm going to hop into the BIOS here. We're going to make these adjustments. So RAM OC. So they want this to go down to 10. So we have to drop this by three and we have to drop this by three. And then we need to use our handy little tablet. Let's see, 2400 megahertz. And we need to go to RamWiz. And this was G skill. Oh, that's right. You can't just type it in. You got to scroll. Uh, this was Rip Jaws. Oh my gosh. Was it four? Or was it Rip Jaws five? Let's minimize this. So this one here, PC stats. Rip Jaws 4, 3200 megahertz, but they've got it set to 2400 megahertz. So we're going to leave it at 2400 megahertz. It's at 2400. We dropped it to a latency of 10. So now we need to calculate the voltage 1.5 volts. 1.5, oops, 1.5 volts. Okay. So we should be good, I hope. So let's apply those changes and restart. Let's see if this thing starts. Let's even see if it restarts. Must be slow. Okay, there we go. So that's saying we're done. That's saying we're done, but, I, you know, I really... I really feel like we should run... OCCT, like, just real fast. Just to make sure that it's stable. Don't you think? I mean, we can do a quick OCCT run and just make sure it doesn't blue screen with a cast latency of 10. Maybe. If OCCT installs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gosh. Their system's a little slow. Okay, I'm going to run this. I'm not going to make you guys sit through it. As soon as it's done, or if it blue screens, I'll come right back. All right, we are in the clear. No blue screen, none of that garbage. This thing is ready to be put back together. And we can get this back to the customer. There we go. All done. Let's go put this in the delivery area and collect some money for this. Then we'll see about maybe doing some more jobs here. Let's see, here's the paint the case red and apply the warning sign stickers. $180 profit, five star rating, very nice. Then we've got this one to overclock. So hopefully they like what we did. Three stars, oh, oh, I forgot to put the theme on it. I did the one thing. I did only the one thing. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I didn't fix their pop-ups or put their theme. Totally forgot. Well, we're not going to hit that five stars anytime soon. I <laughs> got the three stars. They fixed my overheating RAM by installing a great custom water loop, but now there seems to be some weird program installed. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, well, well. Dang it all. Dang it all. I was so excited about remembering how to water cool and overclock RAM. I totally forgot to do the other two things that they even wanted. That's just terrible. That's just terrible. So we've got this. We've got an upgrade here. Let's go through some of this other stuff, though. We've unlocked 4400 megahertz DDR4 and DDR5. Very nice. All these other parts are available. We did level up to a 16. We've also got these added. Got some broken PCs. 
Okay. Well, I'll just have to forget about the three stars I just got from only half doing a job. Can't believe I forgot to check. Can't believe it. All right, well, let's do this, because this one's easy, and I won't screw this one up. <laughs> this one says, Hiya, I'm Dusty, and I run Rough and Tumble Roller Disco Classes at the Community Center. We're a keep fit community who love dogs as much as we love a good boogie, and Rough and Tumble provides a bit of both. Last week, I was talking to Mark, one of my regulars, about how I could improve things. He's got a little shih tzu, and she's just the cutest. She used to have her own roller skates, too, but her fur kept getting caught in the wheels. Poor thing. She only got little legs, and the last thing you need in the middle of a fitness class is having to stop and help untangle a shih tzu. Anyway, I've been using my computer to help run classes, mostly playing music, showing slides, stuff like that. Mark said I have lights in my computer, but they're switched off. I said, I know, they don't work. Mark said, they just need turning on and using in the app, and then you can make them flash all different colors. Well, I was taken aback. No idea what he was talking about, but how did I never hear about this before? And me running a roller disco. Long story short, I got your details off the internet, and here we are. So can you fix the lights on my computer and make them do super cool disco flashing? I think the term Mark used was rainbow effect. Okay. So that is from Dusty. We need to set all the RGB lighting to rainbow effect. I think we can make that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then we've got a PC upgrade here. This is one of those terrible ones to get a 3D Mark Time Spy score of whatever. They want 12,061 and 128 gigs of RAM. Oh, I can't even do this one. This one has a required bongo rating of five, which I'm never gonna hit if I continue to do three-star jobs like the last one I just did. So right now, the only thing I can do is this customized job. So you know what? I don't need to order anything for that. We can go in the day, and we can get this job in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still can't believe I got three stars on that one job. Oh, fail. Okay, so. So they gave me an easy one. Shouldn't be able to screw up. <laughs> Let me get this on the workbench. Let's see. Let's power this on. I am going to hop into their BIOS, and then we're going to get a USB drive put in so we can get... Ah, we'll turn their XMP on. They did need that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a USB drive in there so we can get the lighting app installed. There we go. Add remove programs lighting. Ooh, they've got a nice zippy fast computer too. So lighting... Let's see, select all, and I thought they wanted, here we go. What do they want, rainbow effect? Is that what it was? Now I've got to look. <laughs> Maybe that was it. <laughs> oh man, yeah, rainbow effect. Yep, they do have lights. So that job's done. That was way too easy. I may have to delete these five-star bongle jobs because I feel like they're taking up space for other jobs to come in. Because look, I got one, one new email. So let me collect this one. Five stars, $220 profit. Very nice. This one's expired, so that's great. Let's get it out of there. This one needs a five-star bongle rating. This one is clean out dust and replace a faulty case fan. And our electricity bill is due. $342. Okay. You've been paid. And we've got some broken PCs. And then we've just got this fix. Because this is another five star. Should I just reject this? You know what? Let's just get rid of it. So next time I end the day, hopefully I'll at least get two emails in instead of just one. Anyway, let's do this fix. This says, oh heck, you don't know me, but I need your help. I'm Mike. I work at QT Cuts with Francis. I'm just a trainee. Only been here for a couple of weeks, and I'm afraid I've totally fluffed it. I'm not sure what that means, but it's probably a euphemism for something else. <laughs> Francis went out for lunch and told me to sweep the floor. Easy enough job. No problem, right? Wrong. I forgot she had that fancy new computer 
and I soaked a bunch of hair into it by accident. Oh, that's disgusting. Now the bloody thing won't stay on, and it smells like burning hair. Oh, can you clean it up? If Francis finds out, I'll get fired for sure. She loves that thing. Mike from QT Cuts. <laughs> so we need to replace a faulty case fan and clean out the dust. Let's take a look at the stats. What kind of case fan we got. Deep Cool RF120s. So is it just one or is it multiple? Maybe it's just one. Let's at least order one. Let's go ahead and accept that. Come back to the PC stats. Let's order one of these. Go ahead and buy that now. There we go. Let's go in the day we'll get this in. We can replace this fan. This might be the last job for this episode. And hopefully, maybe we'll get some more emails in and can have some more stuff to do in the next episode. All right. Lights on. There's the fix. Let's get the fan. Hopefully, we only need one. If not, I guess we will order another one. <laughs> uh, okay. Get the side panel off. It is dusty. It is very dusty. Also, take this front off. I mean, there's no fans in the front, so which one is broken? Okay, we'll get the compressed air first. Let's get all the hair and dust and filth out of this thing and into my lungs. So that's always exciting. There we go. Dust has been cleaned. So there's no fan in the front. Let's power this on. I see one one fan working and it's that one. It didn't say replace case fans. It said replace faulty case fan. As in one. But they all seem bad. So exciting. I'm gonna have to pay big money for same day delivery of cheap case fans. So I need three more. These all say owned by, though. Wait a minute. There's only one faulty one. So why... Why weren't any of them turning? Is it because they were daisy-chained? That's weird. That one's owned by... Okay, so maybe I don't maybe I don't have to order anything. Let's cable these up and hopefully they work. Oh, okay. I don't know why they weren't working. They just weren't. Uh let's check the BIOS real quick though. Yep, XMP needed to be turned on. Go ahead and let this sucker boot up. I'm going to get this put back together because it's done. I don't know why none of the fans were working. Maybe they were daisy chained off of whatever one was broken. That was weird. That was weird. But it's working now. We'll get this put back together. That is one very dark side panel. Very, very dark side panel. Was there anything else? Anything else we needed to do to that? We got in one more email. Why am I only getting one email? Huh. Okay. Let's go put this out in the delivery area. I may have to do, like, ending the day a couple of times or something to get some some emails to stock up in here. I'm, I'm confused. I used to only get two emails. Now I'm down to just getting one. So... That's not working for me. Uh, let me go ahead and collect this, though. So we did everything they wanted. Five stars. Okay. And then we'll get to this one in the next episode. But I may have to end the day and see if I can get in some more emails. Because getting one email a day is, is not working for me. All right. Well, if we don't get in more emails for the next episode... 
we may be buying some broken PCs and starting to use that storefront that I have yet to really do anything with because it'd be nice to get some more money. I don't know if it has anything to do with our bongo rating, but it'd be nice to get that boosted back up. I mean, we didn't really lose that much with that three-star review, to be quite honest. So I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. But yeah, maybe if we don't get emails, next episode we'll be fixing up some broken PCs to sell in the store. Keep saying I'm going to do it, so I may as well do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, the thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as a video from me goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.